Welcome to video six. This is how to configure the phone lines on your Yaystar S series phone system. Hi, I'm Dar Zook, Senior Trainer, and this is video six how to configure your phone lines on your Yaste or S-Series phone system. Now we're going to have a look at uh, all the configuration for inbound and outbound uh, calling that includes time conditions, your outbound call routes, your dial patterns, your inbound calls, um, and, uh, and all the details you need to set those up. Now before we get into that, uh, I'll mention our YouTube channel which is at youtube.com slash Helia Canada and please subscribe. As we add more videos to our library, you'll get a notification uh, of those new videos. Now, in addition to that, we do have an online store with all things uh, VoIP, and you'll find that at buyphonesonline.ca. There's a coupon at the end of the video as well uh, for our online store. Now, without further ado, let's jump in and see what this is all about. Okay, so we're going to have a look at uh, time conditions. Now, time conditions allow us to set up uh, working hours and lunch hours, break hours, and uh, you'll find this under call control. And then over here, if we scroll over, time conditions. So there's uh, by default one time the condition already uh, created. Uh, we can have a look at that. Now, this is set up from 8.30 a.m. till 12. Uh, and then from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock, uh, Monday through Friday. Now, this it's really important to make sure that the clock, the time on your Yaystar S series is set up properly, because if it's not the correct time, then, of course, uh, these times aren't going to be relevant either. So we're going to go in here and we'll set up a new time condition. And we will, how about we call this New Year's Day. And we can set this up uh, so that on New Year's Day in January, uh, we can set up a appropriate, um, I'm gonna put this all the way to 23 and for the whole day. And so when it is January 1st, uh, we can set up a particular greeting or uh, another message that plays just on that day. Outbound calling, you have to set up uh, on the phone system manually because there is a fair bit of complexity uh, that can come uh, out of that. So we want to go uh, to the settings, to call control, and here we have an outbound route. So there is a default route in here. And um, uh, what we can see here is the pattern is something that starts with any number and then any number of characters. Now, what we can do here is on our FXO ports, uh, we can say that we want only local calling. So in my uh, area code uh, area here, uh, that is any number that starts with 403 uh, and then uh, the one, two, three, four, uh, and then another seven digits. And so I'm going to add that. I'm going to add another one, and we'll call this, of course, local calling. The other uh, area code that gets used in my area here is starts with 587 uh, and XX, XX, XX. And so what this is going to do is it's going to route calls uh, for these particular area codes um, which are local and which don't bear long distance costs over my FXO or my analog, my TELUS, Bell, SASTEL accounts. And then we'll create another rule for all other phone numbers to go over my VoIP account. So I'm going to save this and then we'll add another uh, outbound calling rule and this is uh, non-local uh, calling. So we're going to add in my VoIP trunk here, and then we're going to put in a, um, a pattern for long distance. So when you call uh, one and then the number, and we'll put one in. So any other number where you don't have to type uh, one in. Now in 
the case of this VoIP provider, we always have to have a one in front of it. So even if you dial uh, 10 digits without the one, uh, before it's sent off to the carrier, it's going to add uh, the one. Uh, now, a couple other things we want to do uh, is we want to add in all the extensions that can use this route. So because this is designed for our long distance, uh, we can say that uh, the only some extensions can call long distance and everyone else cannot. Now, the other thing that's really important here um, is when this can be done. So here we can say that uh, certain extensions can only make calls during working hours. Okay, so we're going to save that. Now, another one that's super important is our uh, emergency. And we want to place one in for that as well. Now these can all be added under a single rule. We don't need to create uh, multiple uh, items in here. But if someone dials 911, which is uh, the emergency number here in North America, we want that call to go out uh, first over the FXO lines. But if they happen to be busy or down or something, then it will try and send that call out over the SIP trunk. And then, of course, we need to add all of the extensions for that as well. Okay, now there's one more that we're going to want to add, and that is for everything else. So if you call outside of North America, uh, then the number format changes. And so this particular um, uh, format is the best. So uh, we're going to presume that the VoIP trunk provides the lowest calling for international calling. And this, we'll put international. Uh, and this pattern uh, supports anything else, anything that starts with a number and then any number of uh, digits after that. That's what the period uh, stands for. And so we can say only extensions uh, 1000 and 1001 are able to make those calls out. So for inbound calling, uh, we want to go to settings and back to call control and to inbound routes. Now we do have a default uh, inbound route that's already set up. So we're gonna have a look at that uh, for starters. And you can see that it shows uh, the two FXO ports. So what we can say, uh, what we can do here is uh, when calls come in over the two FXO ports, uh, we are going to send that to either an IVR or we can send it directly to an extension or to uh, voicemail. So depending on where the call comes in, we're able to redirect that uh, call. Now there are uh, things for uh, dial patterns uh, and that's for DIDs with digital trunks, whether they be uh, SIP or T1E1 and then caller ID patterns uh, allows you to redirect the call based on the uh, caller ID or the person. So if your mom calls uh, from her cell phone, the system can see your caller ID and make sure those calls are, are directed uh, to you. So we're going to set up a second um, uh, route, and this is for uh, VoIP. And so uh, this is our primary number on our VoIP trunk, uh, but we actually have a secondary number as well. So we're going to use this one first for our DID pattern, and any calls that come in from there uh, we're going to send to extension 1000. Now we're going to set up a second rule uh, and VoIP and for uh, the different number which is 59 and so when calls come in under 59 uh, on the VoIP trunk we are going to send those calls to extension 1001 and we'll save that. Okay, so we've set up uh, three different rules, uh, one for our FXO, and, and you know, uh, best practices here are to uh, use descriptive names. So we're gonna go in there and just correct that really quickly here. And this one here is for our VoIP trunk 
and this number. So that was video six, how to configure the phone lines on your Yaystar S series phone system. And in video seven, we're gonna have a look at uh, how to configure your IVR auto attendant company greeting on your Yaystar S series phone system. Now you'll find uh, video seven on our YouTube channel and that's at youtube.com slash Helia Canada. Now, if you prefer classroom training, we do that as well uh, for the Yaystar certifications. And you'll find more information about uh, class times and the syllabus at our site at uh, heliavoice.ca. Now, in addition to that, we do have a coupon for our online store uh, coming up here. And our online store can be found at buyphonesonline.ca. It has all things VoIP, a broad range of uh, VoIP phones and paging units and switches and everything that we recommend. So be sure to check that out as well. I'm Dar Zook with the Helio Technology Report. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.